it'll ensure proper rotation. Also, you just want to check the integrity of the bed. This bed is uh, fairly clean. And you want to check the headboard and the footboard and just make sure that they can come off. Check the headboard and the footboard and that they are here. Until you open the bed up, the only other thing you really want to check are the LED lights down here. When the bed when the bed's off, the motor power function's off. If the ground loss button, if you lost the ground to where it's plugged in, this button would light up. The light works because the bed is not all the way down. If we lowered the bed all the way down, it would be in the light would turn off. And those are your LEDs. Yeah. That's what it's called though. So that's the only way down though. The only other thing you want to check off up like this is the travel lumber limits. This handle here, push it right for the reverse treadle inverter where the head will be dipped and the feet will come up. To check the other side. You have to put your bed back into a flat position. And you can move the handle left. And it'll show you the Trellenberg limit, where the feet are down and the head is up. And then just return it back to a flat position. Here we are with the uh, bed open now, so we check the inside components on it. We have our foot motor, our head motor, and our high and low limit motors. Each have the drive shafts for the foot motor, for your head motor, and then for the high and low. You can see them work, you just want to make sure they're lubricated. First we'll just do the high and low limits. You can see the how the drive shaft works there. Next we'll do the head. This is the only motor running right now. Last is the foot motor and our last drive shaft to work. And their limit switches are located in here also. For the foot motor it's underneath. They'll, while the drive shaft is moving, it'll hit the limit and stop the motor. Head motors here, when it's all the way forward, it'll stop, and when it comes all the way back here, it has little ramps that'll ride up on and it'll stop. The high and low limits, the high limit limit selectors right here, when this is engaged this way, it'll stop. And the low limit is all the way down here in the center. And you can reach it from the bottom, and you can see that it pushes up. And when this hits the bed frame and pushes up, it'll stop the motor. The board that we're using with the relay switches, there's only one board in here. And then the other thing that you really want to check inside 
is the uh, brake spring. Just make sure the brake spring is right, located right here. You want to make sure it's just clean so that there's no debris or no dust in it. The last thing you want to do is the uh, electrical safety test. We don't have a safety analyzer with us right now, but we can check the power cord and make sure the ground, the ground plug is intact along with the other problems. Make sure there's no rips or tears in the plug itself. And to do an electrical safety test, we just plug this into the uh, safety analyzer. Make sure that the leakage current and the resistance are in proper code. That concludes our PM on the Hillrom 8400 bed. Thank you for joining us.